Yo, what's going on, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This here's Deer Meat for Dinner, and today is a special kind of day. See this cat right here? <laughs> this is one of my fishing heroes. Like, I know a lot of you guys enjoy watching my channel, and you probably wish you could fish with me at times. For years, I have wanted to fish with this man right here. His name is RJ Boyle. He is one of the gurus, one of the top sword fishermen in the entire world. He owns a place called RJ Boyle Studios. Tell us a little bit about that. What is it? Uh, tackle shop. Um, it's more than a studio, tackle shop. Art studio, learning center, but, and, and it keeps going, but it's a cool hey, place. Hey, Bible studies. Even. Bible studies. Thank you. What's Tuesday this? night, 6 o'clock, 6.30, we'll see you there. Every, for an hour and a half, men's group. Yep. Just trying to become better men. Hon awesome. Honestly, really, really cool. But yeah, a center hub for sword fishing and marlin fishing and wahoo fishing. And had it for 17 years. And man, I gotta tell you, really lucky. I can't even believe I have a shot. Yeah, well, all I'm telling you guys is we're down here near Hillsboro Inlet. We're gonna head out today. We're gonna be looking for swordfish, mahi, maybe even a squid, who knows? If we catch a swordfish and a squid, you're gonna get two episodes. But what I can tell you is, we're blessed to be here, and I'm stoked you're with us. We got The sword ain't the bait, the rod went slack. We need to drive the hook, so I gotta come back. The rod never loaded, so we free spilled some slack. We waited a minute for the girl to come back. One minute, then two, we missed our first crack. You gotta be kidding, it was just a big whack. All pissed off, we wound up the back. Bust, bust a nickel. 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 We unmake the bait and put in a track. We looked past the transom and the buoy was slapped. What a thing! It's on now. We missed her on the tip, but she got hooked somehow. The jug disappeared. It went out of sight. We guessed she'd be big and put up a fight. The line ended up. We were two in gear. Bouncer yelled, this is the fish of the year. My blood started pumping. I started to sweat. I looked at him and said, Cap, it ain't over yet. He put up his hand and I slapped him five. Said, John's getting crazy. Do you want me to drop? <laughs> bust, bust, and nickel. Bust, bust, and nickel. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are getting very, very close right now. Johnny's running the boat. He's just watching the bottom machine, trying to figure out exactly where he wants to stop. A lot more goes into this than just running the boat out here and stopping and throwing baits in the water. Very, very, very strategic. How do you like them Suzuki's? Honestly, I, really, I love them. It's my fifth set. When I just upgraded the 300s, I had 250s forever, and they were awesome. <laughs> I thought that 300s were heavier, and they're not. It's just a different brain in the motor, so this has changed our life fishing out here because we gained about seven miles an hour, and it's just the boat's completely different with them. They're freaking awesome. I love them. For those of you wondering, that wasn't a Suzuki ad. I was just asking him a question, and Bobby, when he answers you, has to give you a full-on answer, so... There you have it. That is a bonita belly that's been cut, thinned out, cured, and sewed onto that hook. Fun fish fact of the day, swordfish have heaters that heat their brain and the muscles around their eye because they live so deep in this cold water. Tunas have heaters that heat the core of their body because they're up on the surface, not swordfish. They need their brain high functioning, their eyes high functioning at depth and cold. They're, they're cold blooded fish and so they have these really cool heater mechanisms that heat their brain and their eyes. How important is a sharp hook? Hugely important. We're trying to hook a fish a half, to, half a mile to three quarters of a mile away from you. So basically having a, a sharp hook is huge. I don't care if it's a brand new hook out of the box, you better sharpen that every single time you drop. Plus the salt water actually erodes the point, erodes the tip as you're fishing. So every time we drop, we're sharpening the hook. Good to go, John. Nice and easy. Butterflies. Even after all these years, we still get it, right? I know. When you stop, you stop. I know. I, I tell you what, man. This kind of fishing, I think what draws me into it is the fact that when the rod bends over, you see that thump. 
It could be a 15 pounder like we talked about or a thousand and fifteen. And that's the beauty of it. You see that line, line angle up and all of a sudden the bill starts to come out and you're wondering how long the bill is going to be. I'll tell you what, man, it's, it's, it's been good for me. It's a, the, God's been good to me, blessed me with a lot of great catches, and I'll tell you what, man, it never gets old. Drop, drop it right there. Hi, Lord. Come on. Come on. You got it right there. No, don't hit the rod. <laughs> now, don't let him get under these. Keep it right there. Oh, he just nailed it. <laughs> I right, here they are. They're all behind us. A lot of them? Yeah, a good school. Okay. You guys deal with that one. You gotta watch the line. What? <laughs> In the cool. Nice. So this is absolute pure pandemonium chaos. As well, we've got two sword baits still out fishing. Now, I'm a strong believer that when you catch mahi, that's a good indicator that you're about to catch a swordfish. So we'll see what happens. You have a dolphin right here. Well, try to come back here, try to come back here again. Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's Just... what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> going. Look at this. Wow. That's amazing, dude. Way on out here. Oh my God, my GoPro. Look at this guy. What up, G? <laughs> Alright, you guys, we're just getting ready to move. And sure enough, we just drug that squid right there up from how deep are we? About 1,600 feet. 1,600 feet. There you go. That's what these swordfish are down there feeding on. Beautiful squid. That squid will swim with these little wings. And these are his legs. He, right inside, there's a beak. He's actually trying to bite me right now. Oh, see him trying to bite? See that? It's like a macaw. And there's little teeth on his suckers. This joker's going on ice. No! We got two! <laughs> Earth. How about that? So that's what we're using for bait. And these squid, which are very carnivorous, were down there just gorging, eating that bait. I'm glad you, we're looking at that like we're successful. We haven't been skunked. All right, you guys, we're finishing up the day here, y'all. Come on. There you go. <laughs> nice. That's it, man. We came out here with their sights set on catching a big old swordfish. But guess what? It didn't work. There were like 20 boats fishing today. Nobody caught a swordfish. It doesn't matter sometimes what you catch, as long as you're having a good time. Got to hang out with this guy. He caught a couple, caught a couple mahi and this barracuda. RJ's back there just grinning from ear to ear. And uh, we are heading to the hill, you guys. We will see you at the dock. We're gonna clean these squid and then we're cooking them up. All right, you guys. So here we are in the kitchen and I gotta give a huge shout out to Captain Bobby Boyle, John Barfield, everyone, man. Thank you so much for taking us out yesterday. It was an absolute blast. Sun's coming up, it's time to get this honey. Bust, bust, nickel. Nickel. Bust, bust, nickel. Y'all been asking me to do a squid catch, clean, and cook for literally like six years now. We're finally gonna get to do it. Just cut right through that skin right here. Yeah. There you go. Now that will lay out. See this? That's what they use to change colors. Is that a fish in there? No, that's part of his insides. These are these are like little photo cells. Then you're gonna peel this away. This is a piece of cartilage. And you take the head right here, just behind the eyes. There 
there's your guts. Got to get rid of that. Now this, that's their mouth. We're going to poke that out just like this. There you go. And there's that. If you just squeeze lemon on it, that will allow your fingers to stick and you won't have so much slime. Now, these are his wings. That's what he flies and swims through the water with. Take your take your fingers and you're just gonna sort of peel the wings right away. Just like that. Then you see this? This is gonna start. That's like the outer membrane. Just use your fingers and peel that all off. And you're gonna be left with this gorgeous white meat. Yeah, that's what you're that's what you're looking for right there. So that is one of the whole squid. That's exactly what he looked like basically when he came out of the water. Once we cleaned them, took off all the slime. There's the wings. This is the cleaned out body. Here's all the legs and tentacles ready to go. All we're gonna do is just take and cut our calamari into nice strips. About like that. Okay, so for everybody who's looking to buy some Everglades seasoning for the holidays, huge sale. Use promo code DMFD25. You're gonna get 25% off. Go to evergladeseasoning.com. And uh, that's the biggest, that's the biggest discount they have ever offered. So, and I've been pushing for that for a long time. So be sure to go check it out. And take some cornstarch. The cornstarch is really gonna help it become crispy. Look how nice that is. Pop this out. Take some breadcrumbs. That's probably way too much. This is actually really nice. It collapses. There you go. That's what we're going to be cooking. While that gets hot, we're going to get ready with some sweet Thai chili sauce. This stuff is amazing on crispy calamari. This is peanut oil and it's at a medium high heat. I'm just going to drop these pieces right in there. They're going to cook really, really fast. For all of you who enjoyed watching Bobby Boyle, that guy is a wealth of knowledge. He has a platform called RJ's Crew. It's the crew. You can go in and watch videos and learn how to fish like a, a real pro. Whether you're going on a vacation and you just want to know more about what you're going to experience, or if you're actually like a serious fisherman and you want to learn some crazy cool techniques, there'll be a link in the description below. Go check it out. You could learn. I don't care who you are. Even the most professional of captains can learn a ton, but it's also easy to learn, so check it out. Look at this. That is just gorgeous. That's really good. Like, really good. I was expecting to be way more chewy. But it's not. That's the best calamari I've ever had in my life. Best calamari ever. Mm. Every calamari you go to a restaurant, it's like chewy. So, to all the guys out there that are catching them squid and complaining about it, throw them jokers on ice, bring them home, cook them up, man. That is phenomenal. But, um, listen, just want to give you a shout out. The house is almost done. Sarah has been working very, very hard on it every single day. She actually just came from working on the house. She's going to go back right now. Huge updates coming. 
but I hope you I guys enjoy it. I uh, I appreciate you guys for all that you do for us. We love you. Take care. And God bless. We all fight. Bust, bust, Isn't it good, dude?